route to gain access to new missions. Enemy threat is high, so expect contact. What's good, people? So the video that you saw yesterday was played immediately before this here encounter. Which is why you, ha you see me here with the same weapon that I exfilled with yesterday. And in my back pocket is the same f -Tech Siege that is essentially an A-10 Gatling gun. Again, yo, this guy need to calm down. That's a lot of shots. The f -Tech Siege from yesterday in my back pocket. So I want to say I'm pretty set when it comes to offense. And I still have the same medic plate vest from yesterday as well. Now, with all this good gear in my hands, why am I on a Shika Island? Well, if you have good gear on a Shika Island, you pretty much have an advantage. Because a Shika Island, and quote me on this, a Shika Island is building 21, but outside. I said it. And like I said in a previous video, I, uh... I always try to craft a medic plate vest or a three plate medic vest for my squad because, I mean, faster revives, right? Like, who wouldn't want that? But do y'all peep that? My squad mate put down a portable radar and there are two players over there. Watch this. Ultra One, we have PID on a high priority target. There's a bounty on his head. You are clear to secure it. Fire. All Ultra be advised, killing operators will mark you as a bounty target. You'll live. Cluster mind the first you reach on fire. Taking effective fire. Actual target EKIA. Good work. Got movement. Your last deployment was a success. Keep it up to earn more perks. Operators in your area are requesting teammates. Armor box marked. Yeah, there were two players here. But there's also a third wearing a ghost vest. That's the same player that sniped me in the back because I was uh, confirming a kill on the HVT. That's crazy. And... It turns out, putting a cluster mine on some dead teammates, dead enemy teammates, was the right move. Because I guarantee you, if I didn't put on a cluster mine, we would have never seen that guy reviving his teammates. Now, the stage has progressed. We now have control of the utmost important stronghold on the map. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you. We sit here for a very, very long time. And I don't like that, so I'm not going to show you all that, and instead, we're going to skip forward. Now some important things happen, right? On a buy station, as I, there's an explosion in this here building, so I'm going to mark it. At the buy station, on top of the stronghold, right? I bought a SPX-80 because I needed a rifle. I got a submachine gun and assault rifle. I need an actual rifle. So I bought one. I come down here to this here special airdrop and I find two bomb drones. Remember that. Two bomb drones. A minute and four seconds pass. An AI helicopter has just dropped off, well, some AI, in this here area. Y'all didn't see it, but this here UAV tower that's in this area, it was hit. AKA, there are players nearby. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe I can spot them, but 
I want to reposition now. And I'm thinking going on top of the uh, the city hall hideout, thinking about it. And before I can even make my move, there you go. They're still here. And they know where I'm at because I'm in the tower's radius. I'm going to go ahead and keep it a buck with you. Player number uh, two, the guy in yellow, if he is number two, he's not going to move for the rest of the match. However, you see the guy in green, he's on timing. He's already here. Now come up here to this adjacent building to the hideout, clear out this here AI. Now that the spot is cleared, pull out the spotter scope, and oh boy, look what I find. Exactly two players, if not three, there you go, there's a third one, running out in the open. Now watch this. Plancing mine! Mark the target. Moving here. Target marked. Affirmative. Ultra One, be advised. Uh, Targeting operators will put a bounty take on your an head. Take fire! Copy. Disregard that. Moving here. Moving here. Bomb drone deployed! Bomb drone is out. Enemy here. Movement. Oh, Western Taking effective fire. Ultra One, your squad is scattered. Sticking together will help you survive. Contact. The last and final member of this here trio leaves his teammates behind. We look for him high and low, in and out. We can't find him. And I'm pretty sure he didn't revive his teammates either. So, we all leave. All in all, this is usually how a Shika Allen goes. All the teams fight, and a team that survives, if not one of the last teams to survive captures a stronghold and then waits and sees if anything else happens now the really advanced teams one person if not two will be on the stronghold and then a third guy will walk right up the, to the uh, castle take out the Wilson and proceed to camp on top of the castle and watch the entire map and let his two buddies know there's a guy here go kill him and his two buddies say Okay, and that is how the map is wiped. But I'm not on that level. I just, you know, play the game every now and then, so I'll upload YouTube videos on it. Everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.